If you guys want to make your own personal chatbot based on your personality, then this is the perfect intro video for you. In this video, we're going to go over three things. First, how to download Discord data. Second, how to process, filter, and clean it. And third, how to push that data up to Oxen so that you can iterate on that data and see all your past iterations. The next video that we post will be about how we actually fine tune a model on our Discord messages. So make sure to stick around and subscribe to Oxen to see that coming up next. Before we dive in, I do have a little secret to share with you guys. I'm only the frontman for Oxen's secret weapon engineer. So his name is uh, Super Agent Eric, is his code name. <laughs> And even though he hates it, it's stuck with it. And um, I'm just going through his code, his work, and I want to give him credit where credit's due. And he actually wants to say hi from afar because he, he's a little shy and values anonymity. But uh, yeah, let's dive right in and let's have some fun. All right, so here we are in his repo. And one thing that I wanted to make sure is that we have set this up so that when you push to Oxen, um, it's going to automatically create a private repo for you. So you don't have to worry about... Uh, your messages getting out, right? And we'll we'll push this to a public repo so you can actually see the code, but obviously our, our, our messages won't be on there. But um, I mean, the whole point is for you guys to use your own data. So the first thing you wanna do is actually download your Discord data. Now I already did this, so I'm not gonna go through the steps, but I'll show you where you need to go. So the first thing you wanna do is actually go to your user settings and then go to your privacy and safety. From there, you scroll all the way down and you'll see a request all of my data. Once you click that, you'll see it may take us 30 days. We experienced, we got our data in just two days and it was quite a lot of data. I forgot exactly how much. In this example, I'm using a very small amount of the large chunk of it, but it, we've actually found that it's much faster than 30 days. So make sure to make that request ASAP if you wanna get your, your data fast. But let's go back to, to the repo. So the first thing we wanna do is actually install Oxen, make sure that's uh, up and running and we'll use it in a bit and make sure to unzip your um, messages. Cause once you download it, you'll have it in a zip file, unzip it. We have a command for you right here if you want to, uh, but if not, just you can do it from your, um, your file manager. But yeah, so let's run this. Now we have, so what we're doing first is we're, we have our, our um, dependencies. Next, we're making sure what we want to include at first and the beginning date of the data, right? So if we have all the data possible, we may not want to use it because you know, we change, we grow, we, 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 we change as people. So we, we may want it after a certain date. So we have a date right here. And next what we're doing is filtering the channels. And this is where we're actually going into the directory and getting to where the, the messages are stored. And we're figuring out what servers we want to include, what DMs, and we're making, we're filtering out all channels that we don't want. After that, we're collecting all the messages and then we're filtering down the messages that are, let's say if they are before the begin date, or they're past a certain length, then we want to just cut them out because you know it just it's just way too much uh, noise. And then we have a little cell which gives you the total messages. In our case, just 425. Like I said, it's a much smaller um, amount. But that's what makes Oxen so great is that this could literally be millions of messages, and it will upload extremely quickly up to Oxen. All right, so the next step is technically optional, but we highly recommend that you do it. And what we're doing here is basically removing all personal information. So if you look here, what Eric did is that he took a Deberta fine-tuned Pi, which is not a model he fine-tuned, but he got it on Hugging Face. And the link is down below if you want to check it out. And what this model does is it basically removes all personal information like names, location, times, um, uh, URLs, etc. What Eric did is that whenever you find a a sensitive information that you want to remove, it just removes that token or those tokens, right? But what you can change is that it deletes the whole message, so it may be a little bit, slightly better data. It's up to you guys, but you can easily modify that here. Um, so now the messages are cleaned officially. All right, so next we're gonna push this clean data up to Oxen. So why is Oxen important? When you're training AI models, it's extremely important that you keep track of the different versions of your data. And while there is Git and GitHub for your code, Oxen is committed to making the best platform for your data so you can upload millions of CSVs, photos, audio, videos, whatever you guys have, and we'll be able to handle it quickly, reliably, and easily for you guys. As you can see here, Oxen is set up specifically for your data. So if we actually go in data sets, we, we actually are constantly pushing um, the most popular data. I'm gonna move my face over here. Not only do we clean it and index it for you guys, but you get this awesome UI showing you the data you can also see the past versions of our commits straight here in, in the, the 
versions uh, button and you can see branches and compare and there's on and on. There's, there's a whole documentations page, extremely useful. Make sure to check it out and get your free account now in the description. But next we're actually gonna push our data to Oxen. So the first thing we wanna do is get the our Python version. We have that done. And now if we don't have Oxen yet, we run the cell. Perfect, requirement already satisfied, done. So now import Oxen, we'll create a parquet file. Now, the next part is sensitive, so you're not gonna see me putting my API key, but what we're gonna do is configure our user and authenticate um, our Oxen account before we create a local repo and then push it to, a serv to, push it to the server. Now, if you guys don't know where to find your API key, if you go to your homepage, it's right here on the top left corner. So all you have to do is just press um, this little notepad to, to copy it. You can see it with this eyes, but you don't have to see that right now. And all you have to do is just go back to your notebook and paste it when you ask for your API key. All right, now I just set up my API key and my user. Let's create a local repo, commit our, our changes, and then push it. So the first thing we wanna do is actually initialize a local repo. Done. Create a readme. Add and commit the parquet files. All right, so here's a very important part. Here that we're creating our repo, you see this is public equals false. That means that we're creating a private repo. If you wanna create a public one, simply set this to true or delete this argument altogether and it will create a public one. All right, so let's run this. Let's do uh, personal messages data. Done, now the repo's, the repo's uh, set up and let's push. Awesome, we got a little push a successful uh, message. Now, all we have to do is go to our uh, Oxygen homepage and we'll see right there is our repo. And perfect, we have the messages, we have uh, this message first commit, which was a little readme that we added in. We also have the two versions, because if you see, we had the initialized repo and then we added the messages with the parquet file and readme. And while I can't show you what this data looks like, you guys obviously at the point and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed yourself. If you learned something and want to stick around for the next video where we're actually fine tuning this model on the data, make sure to subscribe and like, it would really help us out. And also comment if you guys have any ideas. It doesn't matter if it's a model comparison or fine tuning a model on a specific uh, data that you're interested in. We'd love to hear from you guys and, and uh, I'd be very happy to put a uh, secret weapon Eric on the task for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one.